Police reform has become a huge part of the political and civil unrest we're seeing play out here in the Valley and across America. And today, Governor Ducey made a major announcement. Our state troopers are about to be equipped with body cameras. Brittany Thomason spoke today with the county attorney and her opponent about the change. County attorney Alistair Adele has been pushing for body cams. Just last week, she sent this letter to state lawmakers saying she supports them. Governor Ducey's office says he included body cams in his State of the State address and his executive budget proposal back in January. But because of COVID, a narrow budget was passed to prepare for economic uncertainty. In his plan released today, 150 cameras would go to troopers throughout Arizona. DPS says the devices will be given to staff using a phased-in approach. Ducey plans to work with state lawmakers to secure funding for every trooper to have one. Adele says this will help her do her job. There's always having more evidence is helpful because it can either confirm or deny what might be in a written police report. Um, so that's why I have been calling for statewide body-worn cameras on all officers in the field. Democrat Julie Gunnigal is running against Adele in the November election. Here's what she has to say about body cams. There are settings within these body cams such that they can always be on, um, and that should be a best practice and policy. The other thing I'd like to see is I'd like to see legislation such that when an officer is interacting with a member of the public, it's required that that body cam is on. DPS sent us this statement saying it hopes to begin rolling out the body cams as soon as possible. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.